Yo, yo, Turks and Caicos, ah, the motherland, baby, yeah, you're now rocking with your boy Feek, episode two, that's right, Daily Conversations, and what, what was that, yeah, I'm being filmed by my boy L. Nice, from the Fly Crew, alright, so real quick, this, this is about the whole situation dealing with Ebola in Africa. I recently, like like a few days ago at work, had a co-worker come up to me. Uh, we was just chopping it up. You know, uh, she's uh, Puerto Rican. And she was, you know, and I asked her a simple question. I'm like, yo, uh, have you ever been to Puerto Rico? You know, I hear, I never been, but I hear it's really nice because I actually had family that went there. And I was like, yo, you ever been to Puerto Rico? And like, um, if so, do you... Um, where did you go? You know, maybe, you know, I can check it out and go for myself. That's how that whole conversation went. And she went and she was like, of course. I was like, whoa, whoa, don't get, don't get crazy. I know, I actually know a lot of, you know, expanded people that never been to like Puerto Rico, you know. I know a lot of Puerto Ricans that, Puerto Ricans that never been to Puerto Rico that, and don't speak Spanish, you know. So it was just like a simple question I was just asking. I wasn't trying to offend her in any way, shape, or form, you know? And in return, I told her, I was like, yo, you know, like, I know, you know, you know, like, I've been to Turks and Caicos plenty of times when I was younger because that's where my, my father's side of the family is from. But you know, I was like, you know, I, I never been to Africa, at least not yet, you know? And she was like, don't come back with that Ebola shit. And I was like, what? Crazy. I was like, yo, first of all, I, and I had to let her know. So, this is how the whole conversation went. You know, from that point on. Let me explain something about the, the whole Ebola thing. Ebola been going on in Africa, unfortunately, for about 20 plus years. You know? And, don't get me wrong. It's very like it is contagious and it is it's killed tens of thousands of people. That that is true. But how media makes it seem like 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 it's all the whole continent of Africa and it's not. If I had to compare it to something, it's like it's like taking the United States of America. It's like having New York, Connecticut, Jersey, and like I don't know, maybe Rhode Island or something that have a boat. But the media will make it seem like all of the United States have it when it's just those four states that have it. It's the same thing in Africa. It's just like four small countries in Africa that have it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that big. And, and like I said, it's all honestly like in the same area too on top of that. You know? So it's, it, it, it's crazy. You know, a lot of people are still going to Africa. A lot of people still living in Africa. And... Every, and for the most part, you know, majority of them are still good. You know, that's what I pretty much wanted to talk about uh, when it comes to the whole Ebola thing. Brand new feet. Hey. This one is called no fuck that feet. Picture of L Nice. Yeah. What we gonna tell them? No fuck that. You funny stuff. So fuck with that. You smell like a rat Out here tryna get it in You tryna hold me back Gotta make moves in I ain't tryna hear that Can't stand me, cause that's what's hating about. What you doing, nigga, besides sleeping on your mom's couch? You mad, cause these niggas in and out of your girl's house. They say you should run it back, but they ain't ready for that. Reaching on these cats, I might just give them a heart attack. Speaking that truth for all 